Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video, we're going to take a look at the container widget. I'm going to show you three main things when it comes to using the container widget. First is a shortcut that allows you to easily group existing widgets on the canvas instead of a container. Then I'll show you how to implement custom security features using the container widget by controlling the visibility of the container widget. And lastly, I'll show you how to theme or style your applications using the container widget. My name is Confidence and I'm a developer advocate at AppSmith. Without any delay, let's get started. Alright, so right here we are in my application and I have a couple of widgets already on the canvas. Now to show you the shortcut to group all of these widgets inside of a container, all I need to do is highlight all of the widgets I want grouped and I can either use the keyboard shortcut command G or control G or click on the UI right here to group all of these widgets in the container. So I'm just going to click on the UI here. And you can see all of these widgets have been grouped inside of a container. In cases where you're not able to click and drag to highlight all of the widgets you want selected, you can also select the widgets by um, holding down the command key or the control key and selecting what widgets you want grouped, for example. And that's just going to have those widgets selected and you can also group them using the container widget. So that's the keyboard shortcut. It was actually really easy and uh, it's a shortcut, so it's going to be really fast. The next thing I'm going to show you how to do is control visibility or implement some security features in your application. Because sometimes you may want certain parts of your application to be visible to certain users while not being available for some other users. And that's really easy to implement using the container widget. So here I have the container widget highlighted and this is the property pane of the container widget. It has a bunch of properties, but the first property we're looking at here is the visible property. And this is where you control if you want the container widget visible or not. So you have the option to toggle the switch here to turn it on or off, or you can go right some JavaScript logic to determine if it will be visible or not. So talking about the security feature I was talking um, of earlier, you can go write some JavaScript here to show this application to certain users. For example, let's say if the user has confidence in the user's email, we don't want that user to be able to see this part of the application. So we can do something like if dot email, um, which you can see here has confidence at appsin.com. So we can do um, a check to find if it includes, if it includes confidence, if it includes confidence, then I don't want the user to be able to see this. And you can see that because my user email includes confidence, I am not allowed to see all of the widgets inside of this container. I'm just going to go to the preview mode so that you would see how this looks like when the application gets deployed. And, and you can see the application is entirely blank. Nothing is here on the application. So I'm not allowed to see this part of the application based on the security feature we implemented on the container widget. Now, if we head back and uh, make it such that only users whose email have confidence can see this, heading back to the preview mode, now I'm able to see that part of the application. So this is very useful if you are implementing some custom login system or custom authentication system. This is how easy it is to control visibility of certain parts of your application. I'm going to be leaving a video down below that talks more about implementing security features. So stay tuned to the end to see that video. All right, the last thing I'm going to show here is how to style or theme your application using the container widget. And this is really easy to do as well. So I'm just going to delete everything we have right here and let's go bring in a new container widget. I'm just going to place it um, to the edges of the application and spread this down a bit. And here we have um, a blank canvas to work in. So for example, we can implement a theming system that uh, has a switch where we can toggle between light theme or dark theme. It's really easy to do using the container widget. So let's bring in a switch widget. All right. And here we have a switch widget. And I'm going to update the label of the switch widget to display um, the sun emoji or the moon emoji, depending on what theme we have turned on. So this is going to be switch one, one dot is switched on. And uh, there we have some emoji showing what theme it is. So if I turn this on or off, you can see it switches between the 
moon emoji or the sun emoji and that's one part of the configuration done the last thing i need to do here or rather the next thing i need to do here is set a team whenever the switch is toggled so let's go do um some write some more javascript here so let's set a team to the store by using the store value function so store value i'm going to call this key the theme and for the value uh, this is going to also be based on the state of the switch. So this is going to be switch one dot is switched on. And what I want to do here is that if it is switched on, we want to return the dark team, else we want to return just white. So this is going to be white. And uh, that's basically uh, the next thing we need to do. So the last thing we need to do here would be using this theme. We save each time the switch is toggled. Um, to the store. So we can use it in container widgets here because the container widget has a background color property. So what we can do right here is write some JavaScript and read the background color from the store. So this is going to be appsmith.store.theme. And you can see right here we have a dark theme showing up. So we can go turn this off for example and you can see we have the light theme and we can turn this back on we have the dark theme. I'm just going to deploy the application here. And you can see how the application would look like when you actually have it in the deployed mode. So we can turn this on, dark team, sorry, light team, turn this on, and we have the dark team. So that's how easy it is to control theming. And if you have other widgets being shown inside of the container widgets, all you need to do is similarly read the theme color that is being saved in the store and have that displayed on the widget. It could be a text widget or it could be some other widget. You can similarly read these values and set them to be the color theme of the other widgets within the container widget. So that's how easy it is to um, set up styling for the container widgets, um, set up custom authentication when it comes to security features for the container widgets and the shortcut I told you earlier I'll be showing on grouping existing widgets inside of a container widget. Now, you may want to learn more about the container widget and you may want to learn more about styling your applications using the container widget. So I'm going to leave a video here that talks about how to style your applications and definitely this involves using the container widget. Or you may be interested more in security. So I'm going to leave a video here that talks about how to implement custom login and configure the visibility of certain parts of the application like you saw today in a more detailed video here so that you can go check it out and see how to implement custom authentication for your applications. All right, that'll be all for today's video. So I'll see you next time. Take care, stay safe, and have a nice day. All right, bye-bye.